Hey guys, Connor with HKN here, doing a rectangular to polar conversion and why these two are equivalent. Um, we can start off by doing it mathematically, and we have two forms of, we might see, see these as voltages or currents, where we have the magnitude and a phase shift, or in the rectangular form with its imaginary part and its real part. We'll start with looking at the polar. This is equivalent if we had a voltage equal to R with the phase shift of theta. This is equivalent to R E to the J theta. We just take this for a fact. We can prove that in a math book, but we'll just leave it the way it is. And this is also in polar form. We can use Euler's identity, if you remember, from calculus, where e to the j theta is equal to cosine plus j sine. So this is how we convert into rectangular, is using Euler's identity. Now, when we distribute the r, we end up with this actually already in rectangular form. With A equal to R cosine theta and B equal to R sine theta, because we pull the J out. Now, I can prove this, we can prove this on a graph, and it'll actually make sense when we see it graphed. And let's graph the rectangular, because that's, that's probably the easiest to graph. Now, we can't graph this on a normal xy plane because we have that, that pesky j there. But that actually makes it easy because how we do this is we graph it on a real and imaginary axis. Where the real part is always the a and the imaginary part is always the b. So, in a general case where we have a, we can write this as a point a on the real and a point B on the imaginary. When we plot this point right here, we can draw a line to the origin, and that is actually its magnitude R, this R that we see in the polar. And this angle is actually that theta, the phase shift. And we can draw some lines connecting, like a right triangle, draw here, and using trigonometry, we can derive the equations to convert from rectangular to polar and polar to rectangular. And I'll quickly do that just to show you why it makes sense. If we want to go from rectangular to polar, we need to find what r is equal to. And this is just Pythagorean's theorem with a right triangle. We have R squared equal to A squared or A squared plus B squared. And R is just equal to the square root of A squared plus B squared. And theta, if we remember Sokotoa, is opposite over adjacent for tan. So it would be the tan inverse of opposite B over A. And if we want to go from rectangular, or go from polar to rectangular, we already found that here through Euler's identity, but we can also find that through um, the, same, the same process with um, A, if we want to find A, um, it would just be R times um, cosine of theta because of um, how I remember is just Soka Toa, so adjacent over hypotenuse. Um, so A is equal to R cosine of theta, and B 
we'll just use it's on the opposite side, will equal our sine of theta. And if we want to do a quick example here, um, with a quick conversion and graphing it, we can put um, graph a 2 plus j times 8. And if we put this on a real imaginary plane, sorry for the squeak, um, with this being imaginary again, plot 2 and 8 on the imaginary. And at this point, we draw the magnitude again, r, and the angle, theta. Using our equations with tan inverse of b over a, theta ends up equaling 75.9 degrees, and r, using a squared plus b squared will be 8.2. So we can write that in the form of 8.2 angle 76 degrees. And these two are perfectly equivalent. It just sometimes help, uh, helps us to see what the phase shift is on our voltage or on our current, depending on the problem that we're in. And it also helps calculating in some cases. I hope that makes sense. And have a good day.